In this tutorial, we'll show you how to edit a grating as well as calculate the volume for grating cut and fill. First off, uh, the grating that we are we'll be working with here, this shows green for the fill as well as red for the cut. So we, this is the higher part of the contours and we've cut into this slope here while filling in down here. In order to edit this grating, if you were to double click on it, you see initially what comes up is this uh, form here for line type style and that's specifically for the selection that we've uh, so, uh, picked there as well as if I close that you'll see that the grading tab comes up that grading tab shows us uh, the grading volume tools as well as grading properties and uh, grading group properties so I can come in here to grading editor <coughs> and I can change any of these values here I wanted to change the slope, I could change it here. All these are editable, as well as this one. And we will just hit our checkbox, and you can see as we do that that the, the cut and fill um, shrink in size because the slope's being uh, reduced. So you can edit it that way. You can also edit which uh, surface is the slope is projecting down to. and the next thing we'll show you is the grading volume tools. Under grading volume, um, you will need to select the entire group here <coughs> within the selection. And this is going to show you for the cut and fill. Um, cut, we have currently 2,700 cubic yards, and for fill, we have 5,000 cubic yards. And so typically, we would want to see that this would be. Um, leveled out. That's not always the case, but oftentimes you're going to want to level that out so that you don't have to pull any uh, material off from off-site onto site or vice versa. So you can raise and lower this. If I raise and lower, currently I'll raise it up and you can see that the, with the section is raised, um, it in increases the net fill. What we had to do is actually decrease it here. So I could decrease that again one more time and this is going to move in the direction of having the correct net fill here. So at this point we're within a hundred. Now you can go back and forth stepping um, at one foot apiece or cho choosing your values here. Or well, the other way to do it is just select the automatic raise and lower. So um, required volume if I want zero uh, fill to be either or cut or fill to become on or off site we'll just select zero and this will automatically select uh, an elevation that gives us basically a negligible uh, net fill. So those are some basic um, concepts within uh, the grading volume tools and editing gratings. Uh, when you do this, make sure that uh, when you have the grading volume tools set that your current, uh, your current, you're using your correct grading group. So if you're not using the correct grading group and I hit OK, um, it's not going to show up correct for this this one here. So uh, make sure you have the correct grading group selected, and uh, that's how you uh, edit and calculate volume.